begin with that breaking news on the indictment of Senator Bob Menendez. Today, a federal grand jury in New York handed up an indictment against the Democratic senator from New Jersey, accusing him of accepting lavish gifts from a luxury car to go bars to an apartment, all in return for his influence in Washington. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan is live in Lower Manhattan outside the U.S. Attorney's Office. Jim? Well, Lauren, the charges here are just nothing short of shocking bribery, corruption, using his office to influence criminal investigations, sending sensitive government information to foreign nationals. In the U.S. attorney's telling, the Senator Robert Menendez put his office, put his influence up for sale, and he found many willing takers who made him rich. What the feds found when they searched Menendez's New Jersey home was shocking. Gold bars they were able to trace back to New Jersey business people. Drawers and clothes stuffed with nearly half a million dollars in cash with fingerprints on the envelopes that were identified as those of a New Jersey businessman and his driver. A luxury car parked at the home was traced back to another New Jersey businessman and bought according to the U.S. attorney, with bribe money. The indictment alleges that through that relationship, the senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence to protect and to enrich those businessmen and to benefit the government of Egypt. The indictment alleges, among other things, that Menendez used his office as a U.S. senator to illegally influence a federal contract to sell halal meat from the United States to Egypt. The indictment says Menendez sent his then girlfriend sensitive information about employees at the U.S. Embassy in Cairo and that she passed that information on to Egyptian nationals. The indictment names two businessmen from New Jersey and the senator's now wife, Nadine, as being involved in the conspiracy. They discovered approximately $500,000 of cash stuffed into envelopes and closets. Some of the cash was stuffed in the senator's jacket pockets. And some of the cash, some of the envelopes of cash contained Davy's fingerprints or Davy's DNA. That's not all. Agents also discovered a lot of gold, gold that was provided by Davy's and Hana. And the FBI, of course, found the Mercedes Benz that Uribe had provided them. Menendez, of course, was tried on corruption charges in 2017, but that case ended in a mistrial. The government elected not to retry the case. It involved mostly gifts and vacation. But this case involves something more tangible. Gold, cash, cars. Mr. Menendez will be in court next week to answer that. Mr. Menendez released a statement, Senator Menendez released a statement just a short while ago that says in part, the facts are not as presented. I am confident that uh, this matter will be successfully resolved once all of the facts are presented. Senator Menendez has worked his whole life to become chairman of the Senate uh, Foreign Relations Committee. He attained that. He will now have to step down from that role as per Senate rules.